two exits are through the kitchen and over there. In the event of evacuation, could you all gather in the car park, please? Okay. Um, to re record declarations of interest. I declare interest. And so do I. And you really should. <laughs> now item five is events at the showground. And we have um, Mr. Bill McGill here, have we? Yes. Um, race director. Of the um, oh, and Richard Poole, mm -hmm. chair of the road uh, marathon. Um, would you like to come forward? Yes. Because we have had some problems. That's why we've invited you. How would you like us? Well, would you yeah, like? Yeah, if you would mind. Would you like chairs? By just um, uh, recapping, I think, you know, a couple of difficulties that you reported yes, back to yes, us this, back to this year, and then what we plan to do. Uh, I think, and John's note to me, there were, there were I think, three areas that were raised. Um, one was the point of admin, we were late in alerting the parish council to the event officially, so we will address that this year, and that's entirely out of me, for which I apologise. I was busy with the work away from the county, and I won't let that happen again. The second was the road closure signs went up. We we tried to get more 
signage out on the roads this year to make sure everyone was aware of, of the, uh, the forthcoming race. And we put up some road close signs with a week to go um, that didn't indicate that the road would only be closed in one direction. I think that caused a lot of, a lot of challenges uh, for us. So we took those signs down and we will not make that mistake again. But I think more important than all that is the fact that there's a you know, road closure at all. And one of the problems we've had um, with the Deerham Road is it's a very busy road. And because the previous races have always run in two laps, it's had to be effective for a longer period of time. So our intention this year is to change to a one lap course, which will reduce the impact on the Deerham Road in one direction to a 30 minute period from about 11 o'clock to 11.30. So that's what we, uh, we intend to do to address those concerns. So we're going further out and so we have to we'll uh, look to go out towards um, Marla to the Polborough, up to the Polborough Golf Club and go around there. But the Barnbrook. The Barnbrook. The Barnbrook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Barnbrook. Mm -hmm. Down towards the Barnbrook and Golf Club. Oh, it's on there. And um, back in on the lane. So this, are you closing those roads then? We'll be closing roads where we're running for the duration of the time we run on them. But the benefit of doing the one lap course or two lap course is that. You know, the, the race then becomes like, you know, like a, a mouse through a snake. It passes by once, and as soon as it's passed by, it, you know, everything is back to normal. Whereas right. when you run Which twice, as you run around a loop you know, twice, the whole thing is closed for well, the duration we, of we the, know that. the last run. I live right on the corner, yeah. so I do know. Um, well, one presumes that the further down the course you get, the, the bigger the gap. Yeah. Yes, that's right. The plans that we have um, think that the road through Eastern will probably then be closed between 25 and 30 minutes uh, and coming back through Marlingford and in along the, the road to the college, which okay. came over just, uh, just over an hour uh, by the time we get there. It does mean, as Hugh has explained, is that uh, we don't do that twice. So from 5 to 11 until 25 past 11, the road will be closed in the direction in outbound, uh, westbound towards the and then at 25 past 11, or when the last runner has passed, the road will be open, and that will be it. And then all the pressure moves round to the other side, of course, one side only. So we think by doing that, it's going to significantly improve the lot for um, the Eastern residents. It's also going to make it easier for people to get in and out of Eastern College and the driving range. And that's something that's been um, on our minds for the last few years, as the amount of traffic movements on a Sunday for both Eastern College and now particularly the driving range have increased. Uh, and if you like, our, our, they were landlocked by our route, so we think we need to do something about it. So we'll just move round up, round a big single loop rather than round a double loop, as you described. Um, and that way, we believe that the, um, uh, the pressure on Deer Road in Eastern in particular will be significantly reduced. Well, so you think going round Marlingford that would, would that not be longer because they get more strung out? And they'll be the same, the Marlingford. It's a big sum to do here, but what happens is that the, the faster runners set off and off they go round to Colton and through Marlingford, and then they come round <coughs> and, back, and they then catch up the people at the back. Yeah, I know that. And, yeah. then, and that, road is, that road is then closed with runners on it for, as Hugh says, just over an hour. What will happen is that the way that we're planning this year is that the lead runners will get back to Marlingford at about 20 to 12, is right, it? about 20 to 12, and then the period after that will be just over an hour, and it will be through. But because that will be 30 to 90 minutes into the race, the runners will be spread, they'll be spread out further, yeah, 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 two laps across, going round it, and the runners will spread across the whole road, and by being longer and thinner, uh, we expect to be closing the Marlingford Road, the road past Marlingford Vale, and back to Showground, only in the east outbound direction, leaving westbound open. Gentlemen from Marlingford, are you satisfied with that? Well, I think we, we need a bit more detail, really, yeah, because... This is a proposal, really, to, yeah. to alleviate it for everybody. <coughs> it was a problem then, that was the worst problem. This, I was wonder, here, wasn't it? could you, as soon as you've got one, yeah. send me a map of the proposed route? Yes. When do you think? Uh, we'll, we'll have that. In, you know, I think we've got to speak to the show around, but we'll, um, we'll get that to you in the next few weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. The problem that we find, um, Madam Chairman, is not with residents generally who behave themselves. It's often visitors to the um, 
attractions and the facilities. Um, well, who, who then um, ignored uh, notices, ignored signs, but most disappointedly ignored the uh, directions of the accredited traffic stewards on duty. Um, we're currently cooperating with the police for uh, one, if not two, prosecutions which have been brought uh, in respect of motorists who both seem to not be local people who uh, blatantly uh, ignored the, the, um, the instructions of the, of the stewards, just thrown into the runners. Um, it was very, very silly what they did. Um, and the police are, as I say, um, pressing prosecutions. We didn't have any prosecutions two years ago, last year, but two years ago, there were certainly two of the driver that you carried his engine up, which was three points and seven hundred pounds. So, um, and it's not, it's not the local residents, it's the people who um, uh, don't, don't listen to the things on. We've, had a, we've got a good relationship with Eastern College, and always have. We've developed a good relationship with Robert Barnard at the uh, driving range, um, and uh, he works very closely uh, with us to inform all these customers of what's going on several weeks beforehand. But uh, as you know, it's, uh, it's one to I sometimes spoil it for the majority. You're right, the people coming in are the ones that you know, find a way to not know, uh, even though we, we ask um, you know, Eastern College and the Equestrian Centre and the Sports Centre and the bar and the Golf Centre. But the other thing was, when you put these notices up over a week prior to the event, that was confusing for people because they thought it was the weekend before. You put the road uh, close notices up. Mm. Uh, we put the road close notices up on the Sunday before the event. Oh, well, there was other notices what misled them. Mm -hmm. into the road closure orders, that they, were, they go up a month or more ahead of the... 35 um, days before, and we were required to put them out. Yeah, yeah, and that sort of specifies the date on it. But we only put the... Our signs no, not on the clues, there was other notices that they put up, wasn't it? Right, mm -hmm. right. I thought, All our over signs went up the sun. I mean, for the past... Oh, since we've had the road closure in the last five or six years, the, the signs that we put up about the road closure and the delays and the There's rain being here, if Brendy were right, there were some small notices that were stuck on a post. Yes, they were. They're the road closure orders. Yeah. No, 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 no. These were road closed. Something Sunday. Yeah, there was a confusion, wasn't there? Yeah. Well, the yeah you're right. We, right. Was we changed. We put a second set of signs out this year. So we've always uh, put signs along the whole route saying we'll race here next Sunday and to expect delays, and then we put the specific times at the specific points yeah, on the course. Then, but then this year we put some additional road closure signs out along the Deerham Road and along the course to say road closed here next Sunday. They went, they went out on the same day. Well, I don't think they could have seen the next one next year. Um, but no. the problem was, I think on the Deerham Road especially, where we got um, some feedback, that people thought the whole road was closed, and it wasn't. It was only closed in the uh, westbound direction. Uh, eastbound always stays open. And I think that was a difference this year. So that was, I think we tried to be too helpful, too clever, and got it wrong. And we think, you know, so any closure signs we'll put out next year will be quite specific. If there is a direction, so we'll say close, you know, close eastbound, close westbound, and we'll put some signs out as well. Um, uh, but they've always gone out. But there before. was a confusion yes, as to what some would put down right, right, <coughs> before. Right, that we another story that, that really strikes a lot of us is you call it the Norwich Marathon, so why isn't mm -hmm. it running Norwich? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well, I you, mean, this is the eastern and um, surrounding area. Well, we, I don't think we really want to change the name of the race, but it's, it's a race that started, as you know, in Norwich um, 30 years ago. Um, Norwich can't actually cope with a, a half marathon in the city centre without significant cooperation of the local authority, which has been not forthcoming. We have tried to move the race back into Norwich um, uh, on several occasions, but we've been thrown away by City Hall, which has been a shame. So Not even Eaton Park? Newly A. Yeah, Newly A, Eaton Park, or mm -hmm. close to the other? Yeah, we're, we're happy because the only venue that really can support the infrastructure in the... Uh, you mean the showground? The showground, yeah. And it's been there 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's getting bigger than we didn't use well, the road closures, mm -hmm. did we? It's become bigger, but it's not getting any bigger. So it, it's now at its, you, it's at its maximum. We, li we limited it for the past five years and, and not exceeded that limit. Um, so it's not, it wasn't any bigger <coughs> this year than it was in any previous three or four years. But certainly, you know, 
going from say 2006 to 2009, 10, it, it decreased. Right. Yeah, right. That's um, when you start with the road closed. That's also the time when Eastern College became okay, much more uh, legal centre, question centre. You know, as you know, you're the kind of roadway that you could use. Well, actually, you can't, you see, because that cuts you off in miles. We'll get you on the rescue with you, won't we? <laughs> well, I don't, I doubt it. <laughs> but anyway, well, is there anybody else who'd like to say something? You had problems with the roads. Well, the, the problem, main problem we had was the crossroads of the mining for Bill. Yeah. And, and that does need some attention. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to what you're proposing there. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we also need the details of how you're getting to Barnum Broom from East. I'm going to go and see you on the Barnum Broom call the Yes, we'll do that. Yeah. I'll send Max the, uh, the, the, the proposed route map in the next few weeks and then we can get together and take you through it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, indeed. I'll send it to all the parishes. Yeah, well, that sorry. was the complaint we had in most of was down at Marling for Bell. Right. And they couldn't get back into Easton. And one of our residents, um, I think it took him about an hour to get home. I don't know where he went, but he couldn't move anywhere. And he's not here tonight, unfortunately. Maybe he would have told you what, certainly would have told you what problems he had. So... Well, that's it. Well, sure. We will. I mean, there was a diversion that would be... Take up to um, up to the top of Barnum Road and then round the uh, um, past uh, the ice house and onto the other road that way. So yeah. the, the sign mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah, we'll put you in touch with us, please, and we'll we'll do that. You know, we'll do, but we will address the that mine for the Bell Crossroads. Um, yeah. I think we're going around the Bell we'll Crossroads. Right Down there as well, which got yes. families down there. We don't know. Uh, yeah. But yeah. they might want to get south if they want to get south in the middle of cross the ridge. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. But when we get into it as well, you know, to the church which is on Marlin the Bill. Well, they usually, since we know we're in contact with them, they don't need to have a service during our race. No, but they have a lot of cars arrive there, families and things. Anyway. <coughs> And um, proposed routes for, for discussions with uh, all, all the parishes, and hopefully we can find uh, uh, an improvement that will much reduce the impact on everybody. And also, you don't have to stop. <coughs> well, what we, we might still have to do that because there will still be points where well, cars are asked to wait, and it's the ones that don't want to wait a few minutes that cause well, the most problems. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.